And then just real quick, we're going to get on this and get off this real quick. Uh, some people want to know, like, how the beef started between you and Messi Marv, man. Man, I, I tell you, G, because it's you. The nigga was acting like a blood. He's acting like a blood. And it's getting, of course, it's going to get to me. Because niggas, my rich nigga's like, shoot, woo. Like niggas playing games with a nigga. You feel me? I got close Richmond partners from the one way, from the back streets and shit. My brothers. You feel what I'm saying? Packy and all in. And Deesky and them. Deesky wouldn't do it, but Packy would, because me and Packy always just capping. So Packy be like, shoot, woo. Then I look over there and them niggas be laughing like fuck. I'm like, nigga, come on, man. He like, yeah, man, it's got for that. Y'all blood it up. So I go to Seattle one time. Man, I'm in Seattle. Nigga, some niggas bring me up there for some bread. I'm finna do the show. It's a nigga like mad as fuck with the niggas who brought me up there. They trying to hold him back. I'm like, what's up with this nigga? So I go over there by the nigga. The nigga act like he clutching. Nigga, he like, nigga, you niggas ain't bloods, nigga. The nigga's going haywire. I'm like, man, what's up with blood? They like Quinn just then. They take me back to the room. So, you know what I mean? I get, I get one of my little Seattle things. and You know what I mean? She's sucking nigga off. You know, Cheryl T was calling me. I was like, oh, I'm just chilling. Getting served by my Seattle thing. She really from Kent. You know, I don't do that no more, but I'm, I'm drinking it off. But as I'm coming out the hotel lobby, here's this dude again. This man, the dudes that brought me up there was from Tacoma, for real. It was Crips, <laughs> Hilltop. And uh, this time when he seen me by the soda machine, he was like, man, I was on that wet. I'm like, well, wet? This is like 90, right when Marv was doing it. Like, oh, 06, oh, 05. Like, uh, now nah, wet is in bombing fluid on this. He's like, I just was, you know, I want to get at you, bro, because I've been in affairs with a lot of your partners and shit, and you don't stand up film on niggas. At the time, he was like 22 years old. Ballin' nigga had bread. You, you know what I mean? He definitely was the one that brought me out there. But um, him and his crew, he said, uh, he said, man, you know, just get the word back, man. You niggas don't need to do that. Because that nigga Marv game is way tighter than that. They said they didn't, they was going to get on Juice. They was going to get, and they tried to get on Juice. They tried to get on him. I seen him outside with the K's, man. You know what I mean? I got, uh, man, Homer could tell you that story. It's a show that the whole bay was here. Some niggas was outside waiting for juice with them things. Talking about that fake blood shit. Him and Marvin doing. And Marvin, you know, so Rob G at, at Franny's funeral, at the Yee's Mama funeral, Auntie Franny, God bless you. Uh, Rob leaned over to me and say, Tell your cousin to stop acting like a blood. Now, Rob is from KO. That's his big homie. He's always an antagonizing type nigga, right? So, he gonna say, like, nigga, why you have that red light on up there? Just you and me sitting there with a red light on. He always try to play a nigga, but he joking. But he was serious, because where we was at. So he say, tell your cousin quit acting like a blood. This is a direct order from Rob G. KO, KO General, right? So I'm like, nigga, so I tell Big Mo, I'm like, Big Mo, blood, tell him to stop that blood shit. I asked Trev, could I get it more? Trev wasn't talking to Marv because Marv, he dog everybody. Like, he was really dogging his partners and shit. Really dogging his KO niggas. Uh, G, and it was on his head. G and Floyd was already on his head about some other shit. So, I'm trying to tell the nigga, he getting the message, but he not. So, he wait till uh, September 6, 2008. This is when I left Cheryl T and Lil Quinn and them. Uh, just because I was tired of saying sorry about some shit, it wasn't working. So I'm drunk and high, like.